Hello, you YouTube people. I'm in Padua, I'm in Italy, but uh, there's a German from Bogart. You're not Mr. Bogart. We are Mr. Bogart, this is Stefan Hess, and we are here in Padua. It's the first time for me in Italy uh, at the music fair or the music show. And uh, as I heard here, my bases are completely uh, infamous <laughs> in Italy. In infamous? Yeah. yeah, really? Yeah, it's it's very interesting for me. I have a couple of customers, of course, in Italy. Uh, during the years, there's no problem, but uh, actually the younger bases, they don't know the name Bogart. And when I tell them that they are okay, not very, not so much famous as Warwick or so, or Sandberg guitars in Germany. We don't say the W word here, okay? We don't support evil people. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's a good idea, yeah. For me, it's very interesting to be here, and it's good for me. The first intention was to come out again. Yeah, let's do something and not just sit at home anymore. Exactly. Of course, all safe and masked and all that. I know I've known Bogart since probably I started playing guitar in the early 90s. I started in 1990 because a guy in my town played in a cover band, okay. and he had a Bogart bass. He actually had several. Yeah. Uh, and they had these like funky colors. I don't see any of the funky colors. Remember in the early 90s? Yeah, yeah it's, you see here at my banner some some older designs, you know. What I saw that in, in now in the, in the 20s or 20, now at the moment, nobody likes the, the colorful bases, you know. What's wrong with you people? What's wrong with colorful? Let's talk about the, the special thing because there is carbon somewhere, right? Come over, come a little bit over here. Okay. All of my bases to have a carbon fiber neck, okay. without any uh, exception. And my yeah, there are several companies doing bases or guitars with carbon necks. So it's not a special, only a, a unique uh, specialty of mine. But what I'm doing uh, is I combine the carbon neck with composite bodies. And the composite bodies, in combination with the Carbon X, the Bogart bass is the only bass in the whole world with that combination. So what is the material on the body? Yeah, the material on the body is quite easy to explain. Inside, I'm going from inside to outside, okay? Inside the base, there's a wooden core. Okay. In the most cases, I'm using spruce wood, you know, because spruce is, has a very good resonance and it's uh, relatively uh, lightweight. And it's easy to get in Germany, okay? And Fichte. Fichte, yeah, it's Fichte. Fichteholz for the Germans. This is Fichte is a super tonholz, wird halt im E-Bassbau nicht so häufig verwendet. It's, it's, also, it's very soft. Yeah. And I think that could be a problem for a base, but if it's the center yeah. and you're surrounding it with stuff, yeah. then that's probably good. Exactly. And so I have the wooden core inside. The wooden core is surrounded by the, uh, from an epoxy foam. Mm -hmm. And the, there is, I think they are something about 50 different uh, foam uh, mixtures or uh, uh, formulas in the, in the in, on the market, and what I was doing is I asked a manufacturer if he can make a special formula for me, because I'm looking for a high resonant uh, foam, and uh, it has to have air inside. You know, you have to have a, a very good resonant. Then you hear that. Uh, result when you play the, the bass without an amplifier. Mm -hmm. It's a very loud acoustic tone. And, but anyway, let's, let's, let's uh, explain to the end. Uh, after uh, the outer shell, it's, it's made from uh, epoxy resin. It's called gel coat. It's, it's thickened uh, carbon, uh, uh, excuse me, epoxy resin. And it's uh, reinforced by glass fiber inside, you know. So we have wooden cores surrounded by epoxy foam. Then comes a, 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 a glass fiber, a glass fiber, and outside we have a, a, a shell, hard shell made from epoxy resin. And that, that sounds like a lot of different stages and a lot of work. Yeah, it's no, it's the work. It's not the point. It's uh, the the point is to to get 
the different components together that it's it's uh, ending up in a very good sound, you know. And I have to say that I'm looking at the prices here, and they're not ridiculous at all. Like looking at that 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 kind of product, yeah. I would assume that this is something ultra boutiquey, very very expensive. But I'm looking at 2,500. Is that's 2,500? Yeah. That's a five string. The weight is not ridiculously light, but for a five string, it's not very heavy. And I love that flat yellow finish. I mean, I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm, I'm confused why it only has one pickup, but 70,000 knobs. It even looks like it's got a headphone out on it. It's got a headphone out. I mean, I mean then, then you look at the neck, which is clearly, here we go. That is clearly carbon to the max. Brass, let's call it headstock. I mean, that's a simple design, except for the knobs, and there's a lot, lots of them. Um, 2,500 for something that unique, to me, is not very expensive. The four string behind it, the black one, only clocks in at two grand, so you can actually get a Bogart base. Handmade in Germany with all these extremely complicated building materials for two grand. I, th I always thought that the pricing is a lot higher on these. And again, they have been on my radar for the last 30 years. So let me place this beautifully again. Come on, come on. Yes. So we have some wood here, but that is a veneer, I would assume. Yeah, this, right? is, this is a uh, yeah, walnut barrel veneer. So if you don't like the flat look, you can get a base that absolutely looks like a traditional base. And this walnut burl is very beautiful. Come on. I mean, that looks like you want one of those boutique bases to look, but it is a veneer over a, let me get this right, a spruce core. Spruce? Fichte, yeah. Fichte core, then foam, then fiberglass, and to get it all nice and, you know, uh, 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 shiny, it's epoxy resin. That sounds like a lot of stages that don't just take a day to do. And then you've got this carbon fiber neck. The weight is pretty, I would say it's lower than a comparable base, but it's not super light. It's not, it, but it's definitely a low weight. See here we have, looks like ash. This is a wood I call, uh, uh, it's called Psycho Wood. Psycho it's Wood. It's not a real wood, it's a, it's a oh. artificial wood. You know? And this one has a headstock. Yeah. That's got some weight to it. I mean, you know, we have a headstock with hip shots. Yes, nice choice, nice choice, good one. Headstock with the volute, because you know what, you need the volute. It's the guitar tit, as they say in um, Spain, teta de guitarra bolt on two Bartolinis and no frets. I like it. I'm a no fret likey kind of a guy. Neat. And then there's a an interesting nut up here that seems to be almost no grooves. Very cool for free swinging strings. Can you say free swinging strings? Oh my God. Ah, oh, you take that. I have to say, I am a big fan of this Petrol. Okay. Petrol kind of blue-green. I mean, that's neat. However, if I had to pick one, I have to be honest. Even though I'm not a fan of yellow and orange, whatever. The satin nature of this. This is the one that I would go to, but where's the other pickup? <laughs> That's what I need. Yeah, you can't have a second pickup. It's no no problem. It is so that all of my bases, you have a, a basic model. And the basic model is uh, with one pickup. I have uh, always the Bartolini dual coil humbucker. And of course, if you want to have a second pickup or a third pickup, I also made a ba uh, two bases or so with three pickups, you know. But uh, anyway, uh, in the most cases, of course, the people like a base with a humbucker set set up. You know, that's the most popular 
uh, combination we, as you see it here, you know? I mean, you've got everything. There's like, thinner ones, are those single calls? Uh, no, these are Korean-made humbuckers also, you know? Okay. Here we definitely have a single call. Humbuck and a single call. No, this is no. Uh, a split coil. Oh, okay. And this is a dual coil humbucker, of course. It definitely, I mean, it's custom. Anything you want. And you can see, you will like the, the, the wooden look, whatever. But the, what you're getting is a, I would say, a very, very modern interpretation of a bass. However, he's been doing this for how long? 40 years? 30 years? Uh, Bogart bases are existing now since uh, next year, 30 years. So since 1992. Okay, yeah. So that's actually then Jürgen, the guy in the cover band, had one of the very first ones because that's when I, that's when I knew that bass. Very interesting. I shall play around with him a little bit to actually feel what he said about the airiness. And if you want to check him out, go to the website, Bogart something. I'll put that in the links below as always. Uh, Italy, something, Padua, you've been, and so on, and animals at the end. It's times like these that show us what we're all about. And will you please be strong enough to sit this out? I'll see you on the other side. This kiss is a rainbow's forever one. The time will come, but not tonight It's why we have to stay six feet apart We're gonna come together We hold all the cards We only have to play them right So do your part And everything will be alright might be hard